In this tutorial, we will see the effects of edge-to-edge -edge contact operation in IDEA Statica connection. Let's suppose that we have two beams connected by a splice plate only from the web. Here we have bolts and plates at both sides. Additionally we have a load effect at the end of the member M2, as you see from the table. So first, we don't have any contact between these two beams. Let's calculate the model and see what we will have. As you see from the analysis results, we have an incomplete analysis. So then, I will click on check and see the results in detail. I click on equivalent stress and I can see that there is an unwanted deformation type. If we scale down that number, for example 5, we can see the collision of the beams. In this case, the software cannot make a correct calculation. In order to prevent this, we need to identify some edge-to-edge -edge contacts on the flanges. So let's go back to the design menu. Then I will add a weld or contact operation from manufacturing operation window, and first I will select edge to edge and contact from related fields. To select correct edge indexes, I click on transparent view. Let this contact be between the top flanges of M1 and M2. Therefore I will select M1 top flange 1 and M2 top flange 1 from the data window. And that is it. The last thing I have to do is, performing the same contact for the bottom flanges. So copy the weld or contact operation, then change the top flanges with the bottom flanges. Now let's calculate again. As you see, the model was analyzed correctly. If you check equivalent stress, you will notice that there is no collision between the members.